So I'm gonna show that generate that new generator we bought. It running. It's running right now. <laughs> it's really not very loud at all. The uh, big generator is like twice as loud as that. It's way louder. So that's it. Jeremy just woke up. He got it plugged in to use the Keurig. I'm not kidding you. Living off grid, you can still live normal. I've used my hair straightener on the solar. Uh, made smoothies on the solar. The Keurig, no, you definitely can't make that on solar. But fire up the Jenny, cost like a penny in gas for this little guy, and make a Keurig. Living the life out here. Woo! The off grid life. Our way. Let me show you. Let me take you in. There's the Keurig there. So there it is, ready to go. That's off that small generator. Coffee time in the morning. I don't know if you can hear the generator working or not. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Off-grid Keurig coffee. Living in luxury, even off the grid. So it rained last night, so I put out a couple of buckets right here by the door to catch some of the rain. And then I'm just emptying them. Now I'm just getting picking them up from under here and emptying them into this bucket. So I already grabbed two from here. Got this one. Sorry, the card was full on the camera and shut off right when I was pouring the water into here. But this is how much water we got. Two buckets, almost full of pure rainwater last night. That's awesome. Especially since we have to drive down the road to get water. Pretty cool, pretty impressed. I love it when I can collect rainwater. So since Jeremy has an appointment this afternoon, I went and filled up a bunch of water down at the water hole before he leaves with the truck. So I'm just unloading it over here. And then I'm going to get at my wood stack way over there. I'm hoping to get it, all of this wood over there stacked today. So I don't know, again, because of the pallet situation, but I have one pallet for sure I can use. And if Jeremy moves the plow over in this tent, if he moves the plow out of there, I can grab two more pallets. So then I'll have uh, definitely enough for stacking this. So I'm going to attempt to get this pallet up and around the back. Um, Jeremy's already gone to his appointment. It takes like an hour to get there, an hour back, and then his appointment, however long that's going to take. So. I've started stacking some wood at the back here. I'm gonna try and, like I said, drag this out. That way I can put more wood on it because I'm running out of space. I'll probably actually throw it in the back of the side-by-side, -side, which I have a wood in right now, so I'll have to unload that wood. Then I'll come back for this. Let's go see how my uh, wood pile is coming along. I also want to get all this wood moved down here beside it. That's just... That's just like randomly cut wood, so it's uh, soft and hard. So I gotta finish unloading this so I can move that pallet. You're gonna be sick of watching me move wood soon. I won't videotape it anymore. Cause it's, uh, there's a lot still to do. I've started wearing gloves cause I'm getting way too many slivers and my hands are just getting so rough. I'm doing this all day. All right, let's see if we can get this in. Bloody heavy. Light. Got her in though. Take it to the wood pile. So I did three loads of wood in the back here and then um, I was kind of just tired of logging wood to be honest so I started going up and down the driveway and collecting just random garbage in the driveway. Before we bought this place it was owned by um, somebody in the States and he had bought it and was going to use it as a hunting camp like for other people but he never ended up doing it and he was never around here so people came and basically used this as a jump like a dump yard or something i don't know it's just we have random stuff all along the the driveway here here's my driveway that people have dumped over the years so um you know, we're not, we don't like it and we've been wanting to get rid of it, but a lot of it's really heavy and like metal and stuff, but we're gonna work at it slowly. So I was going, like there's even just 
giant garbage bags like buried in the ground. It was like they dumped full garbage people and like tried to bury it or something. Um, over here we have like a, a seat out of like a vehicle or something. I don't know that someone's ditched here. There's just a lot of random things. So I've taken a bunch of over the last few days like metal and random stuff up to the front. Um, the garbage took some out. This obviously I won't be able to move without Jeremy's help. There was a bunch of stuff here and um, I brought some out already. I'm gonna grab the rest of this metal. And then like I said, bags, which I have in the back of the truck, which just start ripping apart because they've been there for so long. But we're trying to just get, get it all cleaned up around here so it doesn't look like a junkyard when you drive in. Like I, I hate it, it's not nice. But look at these ruts. So this is gonna be fixed, just wait honey. On So yeah, they're starting on Monday with these ruts. But you know what I was thinking as I'm driving along these ruts in the, oh my land, look at her, in the driveway every day. I'm thinking, you know what, sometimes life is like my driveway. There's a lot of smooth sections, a lot of smooth parts to your life, and then there's those ruts. And when you get stuck in the ruts, it's sometimes hard to get out of them. My driveway is like a life lesson, but I'm still glad that it's going to be fixed soon. <laughs> See, here's something else. I don't even know what this is. Like there's just a lot of random things on the on the side of our driveway here that have been ditched again over the years. Nothing since we've owned it the last two years, so that's good. Now this big log here I'm gonna have to move. So it's off the driveway for when uh, he comes on Monday. And then a bunch of random logs up here. I'll, uh, maybe I'll throw them in the back of the bike next and get them out of the way. Here's a full window. That we may keep for like, you know, just a barn or something, use that. The windows we probably won't throw away because they could come in use for the barn. Hey girl, or the garage or something. But here, I'll show you a big pile up here. There's a real big pile of junk. And I mean, it's probably pretty heavy. Like I maybe should have somebody just come and pick it up. And I think people will pick it up for free because um, they could take it to the scrap metal place and get some money, but we just don't have time to, it's like an hour away, the scrap metal place. We have so much stuff to do. That's the last thing I want to do is now load up a truck. See that pile over there? A bunch of metal. Just, I just don't like it. It just looks dumpy. There's like a full uh, cab of a truck or something back here. I'm not kidding you. People just treated this like a complete junkyard. Dumping station. Look at that mess. This is through our driveway. This is the biggest part of it. There's a couple things up here further too. And then that's about it because I've dug out a whole bunch like just along here you would see just random bags like the top of them and then I start yanking and I mean the ridiculously long just buried in there. So we'll walk back into the where the side by side is and I have it full of plastic right now that I'm going to take to the front and uh, dump. We actually had a few people p take some things which is kind of good. I just bring stuff to the front and if people want it I'm like hopefully they just take it. If not the garbage man will take it all so either way it works. She's having a great time helping me to Hanson, playing outside. We've been watching the birds. We've seen two woodpeckers flying around. They were uh, they were so cute. They were just chasing each other, making noises. Uh, They're really cool to watch. So back down the road of life, my driveway, <laughs> full of smooth smooth spots and and ruts. I'm telling you, when I get stuck in those for real life in the side by side, I can't get back out or the truck. That's what made me think of it. I got stuck in them a couple times. I'm like, you can't get out. I was like, that's kind of like life. Last deer steak, right here. So it was that November? Or was it November at the end of October, actually, wasn't it? I think the beginning of November, was it? I don't know. Yeah, somewhere's around there. So uh, that, it was actually a pretty big doe. Good sized doe. Just finishing up now. Unfortunately, now this is our last steak and we're all out of our wild game meat. Fortunately, it lasted the whole winter. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully this year we get a moose. That'd be nice. Get a moose tag. We'll see. We're just going to marinate it. Probably in some Worcester. Some garlic. 
I just throw a whole bunch of random crap in there. Always turns out good. I know, it is really good. Especially with this cut here. I want to play again! But We've been playing the Wahoo game that was given to us by... Uh, Martin. Martin. Thank you. We play this all yeah, the time. We do, it's yeah. Seriously, like at least twice a day we play this. Minimum. Such a good game for the whole family. Love it. That's no joke. We legit play this game all the time. Oh, yeah. And when my family was visiting from Ontario over Easter, I taught them. <laughs> Martin should go into business selling those games. Yes, maybe, you maybe should. Maybe he does. <laughs> he might. Yeah, that's true. Sam, do you like Wahoo? I love it. <laughs> she just won. Worcester. Whatever this random giant bottle. Maggie sauce? What's this? It's, uh, I don't know. We, we do use it on stir fry and rice and stuff. My mom brought it. We had a little bottle. We do of it. have it in there still. I used yeah, it. Yeah, a tiny bottle. I made a stir fry today and I used it in there. But then they brought. Oh, I thought it was your sister. Uh, I think it was it's your my mom. mom. I think so. Either way, they brought it. So I'll throw that on there too. It's for Oriental dishes, isn't it? Yep. I just put a mixture of like all these random things. I'm sure lots of people probably do it, but it tastes good. It always tastes good. Mm -hmm. Maybe like one more. Oh, there's a little bottle there. Yeah, that's our that's bottle. Soy sauce. Let's just show. Throw a hit of soy too. Why not? It's gonna be one salty meat to bottle. Yeah. No, you don't need to add salt to this. No, I don't imagine. Oh yeah, I know what I need though. I know one more thing I need. Is that garlic powder? Where's that at? Clearly, Sam needs apple butter. Where's the garlic powder? It's in there somewhere, babe. <laughs> Open your eyes garlic. and shut your mouth. No, I was asking you where it was. <laughs> right. yeah. Like you open my eyes and walk in the bathroom. Is it in there? The no. way Ashley organizes, there's a good it's chance it might be in there. You put spices in the bathroom, you weirdo. Lots wow, that's of a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of garlic. It's going to be garlicky. Yay. There we go. Look at that. Here is the apple butter. butter. It's going to be good tomorrow. That'd probably be breakfast Here's right the there. Apple breakfast butter. or lunch. This is the apple butter. Yeah, we got that from. Uh... Oh, why is it? I can't remember the name. The apple butter. Uh, Jeremy and somebody, not Ashley. <laughs> very very close. It? Angela. Angela, it? maybe. Right? I think. Please be Angela. Yep, it's yeah, Angela. I hope it's Angela. Not, I'll edit it out of the video. Sorry, Angela, if your name's not Angela. Sorry, not Angela. <laughs> it is Angela. Grace doing, right? I was thinking I gotta show her. Can you show her? Let me show Black real look quick. Look at her. No, but look at her now while she's there. Okay. This cat, Jeremy left papers on the no, bed because she was get her laying the, on them. The thing and up. she Funny. has been making quite a mess of the bedroom. <laughs> what are you doing? She's got those papers. They were in a pile. She's knocked them all on the floor, and then Jeremy put them back up on there for her so she could knock them off again. She gets, and they were in a pile again. Luckily, they're just a nice little pile of burn. Yeah, it's just a burn pile of papers. Jeremy went through the filing cabinet today and pulled those out and then left them on the bed for her because she's having fun with it. What are you doing? What? What are you doing, Gray? These will be on the floor in minutes. As soon as I probably get the camera off her, she'll start knocking them on the floor. That apple butter smells like Christmas to me. So we're still just moving things around today. Um, my wood pile is getting pretty, pretty big over here. And then we had to dig out a couple more pallets. And then this is where our old burn barrel was. So we like cleaned all that up and threw it over the hump here because we're going to put one of those big shelters that we have at the front, um, the yellow ones right here and then probably another one right here just to get them out of the way of the driveway so we got to clean up all this area and get things moved and one of the tents is going to go on that those big pallet deck that he had made for the um, camper so now he's got to drag it with the side by side into position because it's kind of just we dragged it over here away from the camper which is over there um, so we could get by easier with stuff and now he's drug it there and kind of just dropped it there for now until we figured out where the tents were going to go. Now we know that they're going to go kind of right here behind the house, so they're hidden. They're good storage, but they're just an eyesore. So, yeah, he needs to drag that with the side-by-side -side because it's a pretty heavy deck. It's made out of pallets and then plywood on the top. But here's my wood pile, so it's, it's huge. So now we had to dig out a couple more pallets to start um, making another pile. But we've almost got all the wood that was on the ground up off and over here. I'll show you where Sam is. Let's see. There she is. Hi, Sam. You're catching butterflies? 
Oh, nice. Busy catching butterflies. Anyway, I'll show you after. I don't want to miss him yanking this over again. <laughs> so it's just going to be, yeah, drag it into position and then we can pile more wood right in behind it where you see more pallets there that we've just laid. So we'll just stack even more wood. We got so much wood, it's crazy. I think we have nine cord or we ordered nine cord last year and we ended up not living here over the winter. So we burnt like maybe half a cord just, you know, from the fall till we left. And then now again, we have fires at night still in the spring here. Oh yeah, the plow's on the front right now because we had to move it out of the tent. Um, it was in one of the tents that we're emptying out right now and bringing right over here. It'll be the one that come over here because it has to be moved first. So the guy doing the driveway has lots of space. So we put it on and we're probably not going to take it off until we get it into the tent because there's not really any point in on and off. Yeah, I know, right? Turnaround space, not, not really there anymore. So this is what we've been doing today. This morning, Sam and I went to a pre-K class in town. She's doing a pre-kindergarten class there. Um, there's a few other homeschooling kids that do it too, so that's fun. And then ever since I come home, we've been kind of just putting around here, logging more wood. I'm sure you're sick of watching us log wood, so we haven't shown that, but <laughs> we were just, you know, bringing more wood over to this pile. As you can see, it's quite big now. And then, uh, Bringing, finding more pallets, like digging out of, we had to just maneuver some stuff in one of the tents, just shuffle it around so we could grab a couple more pallets out. And now we're doing this. It's supposed to rain for a few days, so on the rainy days, I'll probably just get into the camper and get cleaning it up. The campground opens tomorrow, but we can't get the camper there, unfortunately, because, um, yeah, the road, the driveway here is just brutal. So the guy will be starting Monday. Hopefully it'll be done early next week and we can get the camper over to the campground early next week sometime. Mm -hmm. Still it's hung up on, on a tree. Small tree. Back here? Yeah. Is No. <coughs> Not anymore. That? You caught another butterfly? There's a butterfly with her. Daddy said that was you, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm pretty well where I want to be, eh? Yeah. yeah. What if we turn it the other way and have the opening of the tent facing the bush? Like this that way? Yeah. Are you good? Probably. Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> 